Joining me live from Anchorage, Alaska is Keith Eckert, who's preparing for the Iditarod Ultra Marathon Invitational. Keith, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? Well, we're saying you're preparing. You better be prepared right now. There's no time left to get prepared, is there? Yes, there's no time left. The race starts on Sunday at 2 p.m., so all the prep work has been done and I'm ready to go. Give us a little idea on your background. So I um, came to San Diego in 2014. I graduated from the Naval Academy then and moved up to San Diego, was stationed in Coronado, and I've been in San Diego ever since. Um, after I got out of the Navy, I started running ultra marathons and started with 50 mile races, moved to 100 mile races, then 200 mile races, and then uh, 300 miles and above. Well, the endurance end of it is one challenge. I get that that's just off the charts. But then to go through terrain like this, I mean, people can die. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's not unheard of. Are you, how concerned about you, your well-being are you? I've definitely prepared for it. And uh, the conditions are very harsh. The terrain is hard to navigate. The snow can be knee high sometimes, even higher than that. Uh, last year, temperatures got down to negative 50 degrees, which was very cold. And um, I just know that I'm confident in the prep work I've done leading up to the race. So once Sunday starts, I'm just ready to go and get to the finish line. How much does your military training factor into this? It factors in quite a bunch because in the military, I spent a lot of time being cold and miserable. And that's exactly what's going to happen once the race starts. It's going to be cold and miserable. So the, the military background definitely played a part in this. Well, it's not just the military background. You can tell people what you did in the military, can't you? Well, I did. So I went to Bud's um, and went, went, did training down in Coronado. So like I said, you spent a lot of time running yeah. and in cold water and being uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. So, so help a mere mortal like me out. When, you, when you're getting feeling miserable, how do you keep yourself going? What, what's the mental trick that you have? I would say just taking it one step at a time. You go through so many emotions in a race like this. You're, you're happy, you're excited, you're cold, you're miserable. And you just, you just know that even when you're really cold, really miserable, in, in an hour or so, you're going to be excited, you're going to be happy again, the sun's going to be shining. And you just take it one step at a time and you really dig down and get out of your comfort zone because getting out of your comfort zone is going to make you a better human at the end. So if, if I'm miserable in this race and I get out of my comfort zone and it makes it and I, it's tough for myself to finish, I know once I get to that finish line, I'll become a better person. So getting out of your comfort zone and knowing this is going to be hard, this is going to hurt, but when I finish it, I'll become a better person. So that's what I always think about when I'm doing the races like this. You know, that sounds so easy to do. I, I would just ring the bell and go home. Hey, uh, uh, Keith, something like this, an endeavor like this takes money. And I know uh, when we had you on months ago, I, I, I thought we, uh, we brought up your website and whatnot. Where, where do you want people to go that are interested perhaps seeing you do well in this? Yeah, so I am fundraising for a charity called Guardian Revival, and they protect those who protect us. So they help first, all first responders, so firefighters and police, EMT, they have great veterans programs, like for example, Boots and Paws, where they pair um, veterans and service dogs to help them out. They do hikes for heroes, where they take uh, veterans out and into nature and, and and help them get back to the life they used to live. And you can go to Guardian Revival's website, which is guardianrevival.org, and you can check out the events and see the Iditarod Trail Invitational. Read more about myself and the race and the and the charity itself, and you can donate there. And um, they just do fantastic things, and they're a great up-and-coming nonprofit organization that I'm very excited to help out. So if we have that graphic up, gang, can we throw it up again? I, I, I promise, Keith, I will post it. I know we helped raise some money for this very worthy yes. cause. Can ch Channeling the cause when you're feeling cold and want maybe want to just not go another step forward, that cause alone, does that not motivate you to, to push onward? It definitely does. For example, we um, Guardian Revival just helped out a former U.S. Marine named Eddie Ryan who was shot in the head in Iraq, and he he does not live the life that he used to live. And I think of people like him who went and supported and served our country and can no longer live the lives they like to live. They used to, he used to get outside and hike and hunt, and he has a hard time doing that now. So I think of people like him. I I am able to use my body and get out there, and um, and I'm gonna you know, do, keep doing events like this. And so it's when I raise, I do events like this, I like to raise money for a charity. And it is those foundations and what they believe in that helps me finish the race. Well, I promise you, young man, that I will post this. Hopefully we can raise you a few bucks for your great cause. And we wish you well. I, I, how many people are competing? This year, I believe there's 
about 50 people in the race and, and there's people doing it on bike. There's people doing it on foot and there's people doing it on skis and I'll be in the foot category. Do you so know everybody? Uh, by on the I, first- I know, I know a few of them. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a kind of a small community. So you see the same faces. Yeah. I bet it's a small community. Who would be crazy enough to do this, Keith? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good group of people. Yeah. All right. Well, we, uh, you know, I wish you success. I think that's going to happen. I, I just wish you safety and I don't get eaten by a bear or anything. I won't. I'll be safe. All right, and then I, you promise we're going to talk about it afterwards, right? Yes, once the race is over, we'll get back again and chat about it. It'll be great. And then we'll look forward to the next endeavor. Perfect. Yes, I got a couple more plans, so. All right, Keith Eckert, you, uh, you be safe out there, and uh, we'll, we'll watch you take the, the checkered flag. Perfect. Sounds great. All right.